we're going to get a look. Here we go. For the first time in GCW at the trainer of Off the Ropes. Gina Rivera to take on former GCW, or excuse me, JCW Probably world champion. Probably future GCW world champion. Could be. Let's be serious. Jordan Oliver. Let's go to MLJ. Our next contest is a singles bout set for one fall. And as you can tell by the ovation here at Dirty Bourbon, another familiar face out the curtain. Gino Rivera, 16 years in the world of professional wrestling. The Puerto Rican Pitbull. Gino, lots of confidence here. But like you said, Dave, he's earned it. 16 year veteran. Maybe a newer face to the GCW roster, but, but he has the reps in to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with someone like Jordan Oliver. Known for the Brooklyn Stomp. Introducing first, fighting out of Brooklyn, New York, with an official weight of 165 pounds. He is the Puerto Rican Pitbull. This is Gino Rivera. Now hold on a minute here. I will point out that as soon as Gino Rivera was officially announced as being from Brooklyn, New York, uh, mine shifted a little bit here, but <laughs> he has really become one of the stalwarts of this New Mexico scene. And he's here to welcome Jordan Oliver to Albuquerque. And Jordan's here to welcome Gino Rivera to Game Changer Wrestling. a former GCW Tag Team Champion alongside Nick Wayne in the East West Express. It's great to have Jordan Oliver back from that long international excursion, returned at the Collective and now picking up where he left off back in the GCW fold. And his opponent fighting out of Newburgh, New York, with an official weight of 210 pounds, the East Coast Ace, Jordan Oliver. Dave, I'm not sure you caught that football. Jordan was out on the apron. Dino kind of took a step forward. He's ready to go. Did not take the opportunity to jump in from behind or anything like no, that. No, but, but I think he just maybe he's really, thought about it. He's he just really he's right here. Look at he's he's ready to go. He's ready for a fight. And already these fans getting under the skin of Gino Rivera. Not very popular. Again, I mean, it, the Brooklyn thing, perhaps, perhaps maybe save that for like your exit after you leave. Also, I'm from Brooklyn. <laughs> Boo. I think a lot of these fans very familiar with Gino Rivera, frequently competing in this area. We can't emphasize enough, especially in the world of independent wrestling and in an area of the country like this, how essential it is to have someone like a Gino Rivera to open a wrestling school to present live pro wrestling events for young wrestlers getting their start to get that experience under their belt. He has really served that purpose well, here in the Albuquerque area. Several of his students on tonight's event here for Game Changer Wrestling. They've also just you know, been here all day, helping out, just looking to build up the scene. And welcome GCW to Albuquerque. Gino looking great, but just like that, Jordan. Back and forth they go. Timeout requested by Gino in the corner. No timeouts. GCW or really anywhere in pro wrestling. Jordan, though, to his credit, you know, he stepped off. Back on his feet is Rivera. Oh, Jordan. 
Maybe looking for the knuckle lock here. No, right to the lockup. Oh, and hey, well, that explains why Gino wanted the lockup. Handful of hair to get that advantage and pull Jordan Oliver into the corner. Not a clean break. Jordan turns things around in the corner, firing away on Rivera. Whoa. Through the ropes into the floor he goes. Hopefully that's a pro Gino side of it. <laughs> Jordan will follow. Oh, oh got, got his legs swept. Yeah, tripped up in the apron maybe too. Gino playing a little dirty. Using a few shortcuts here and there to gain the advantage. But just like JKM, he wants to pull out a win here and make an impression in GCW. Oh! Nobody home on the double stomp attempt. The Brooklyn stomp of the Puerto Rican Pitbull. Oh, he got caught! Out of midair. He was going for a leapfrog. But Jordan beat him to the punch with the boot. Oh, and Gino's, Gino's begging off again. He's had plenty of time to prepare for Jordan Oliver as his opponent on Whoa. this event. That was just to lure him into that trap, though. Tully, mean, Tully Blanchard style. He's sending him prepared. Into the yeah. I don't know if we necessarily agree with the game plan, but now he's taking it to Jordan. Sends Oliver into the corner. Whoa! We're only capo kick. That was brutal. Not hooking the leg on that pin attempt. Jordan able to bridge up to get his shoulders off the mat. Well, another cover. Hooked the leg that time, but only got one. Spending more time arguing with the referee rather than focusing on his opponent right now. Would be a key mistake for Gino Rivera during the course of this match. Gino's trying to stay in control, but yeah, you, you can see he also keeps kind of looking around when those Gino sucks chants start. He's letting them affect him. Oh. For now, though, he's getting right in the faces of everyone at ringside. I still do not appreciate Gino. Cover. I thought it was, thought it was pretty cool. Not going to beat Jordan Oliver that easily. Oh, and Oliver, you're right about that. Oliver had just the smallest opening, and he's closing the gap right now. Series of punches to the head of Rivera. He's back up, though. Whoa. Another handful of hair. Unbelievable claim made by Gino Rivera. Scarlett Donovan oh. not believing any of it, using his fingernails, chest rake. Oh, Gino really going to work. That's gross. Just clawing at his opponent. But like you said, Dave, when you're looking to make an impression in GCW, a victory over uh, just a staple of Game Changer Wrestling like Jordan Oliver would be huge. Yeah, it would propel Gina Rivera within the GCW ranks for sure. Guarantee future opportunities in other parts of the world. Jordan slowly, slowly fighting with his feet. Still holding on to like a reverse bear hug here. Trying to break free of this Whoa. waist lock, he does. Gino gets tossed and caught. Scissor kick from Jordan Oliver. Gino's seeing stars right now. Oliver trying to use this moment to recover. Looks like Gino's, well here, watch the replay of the scissor kick. Face Gino. first into yeah. the mat went Gino. Jordan's up. Fired up once again. Sends Rivera into the ropes. Big hip toss from Jordan Oliver. Sends him off once again. Oh, chop this time. On the East Coast ace. Jordan Oliver's all fired up now. I think he's in a perpetual state of being fired up, flailing his arms around and Whoa. kicking away. But Gino, oh, trying to get the advantage here. Oh, Oliver, fake out into the DDT. And down goes Rivera. 
Jordan turns him over Whoa. to go for the cover. Oh, but it's still not enough. Oliver, he says it's over. We're gonna put Rivera away, perhaps the clout cutter. Jordan Oliver coming up. Gino's lined up. Oliver to the second oh. row, going for it, but Rivera had it scouted. Boot right to the face of Oliver. Oh! Off the second. Oh, but not done yet. Gino! Big set on. Crashing down on the chest. Cover! Jordan kicks out! Oliver clutching his ribs. It gets scooped up and dropped. Again, Oliver kicks out. Rivera's been able to string together some impressive maneuvers here. Yeah, but it's still not enough to keep Oliver down. You can see the wheels turning in the head. He's got, a, he's got an idea here. Handful of hair once again from Rivera. Combination of shots from Rivera. Oh, no. Jordan's still on his feet, though. Oliver got out of the way. Gino didn't. Back fist from Rivera. Big knee. Big boot from Oliver as Rivera is seated on the top rope. Looking for the acid bomb. Oh. With a, a handful of face. Doing whatever he can to get the advantage. Oh. Caught him with the cutter. Looking for the acid bomb again. Can he get it? Oh. Acid bomb connects. One, two, three. Jordan Oliver scores the victory. The winner of the match, Jordan Oliver. Jordan Oliver with the acid bomb. Watch the replay here. Signature of Independent Wrestling Hall of Famer Trent Acid. Big influence on the career of Jordan Oliver. Leads him to victory tonight. Really impressed by Gino Rivera as well. I mean, you may disagree with some of his methods, but there were some moments where it looked like Gino was about to beat the East Coast Ace. But it's Jordan Oliver back on top. And folks, last night we presented How High in Los Angeles. Let's take a look at what took place.